David Fox in the orange or yellow black shorts. Fighting out of Shea Walsh MMA, taking on Dan Nee from Fight Minister Grimsby in the grey shorts. Connor Halliday alongside Danny Missing. Ooh. Oh, Fox catches him with a nice left up. Beautiful sprawl there by Fox. I was just about to say, uh, Neve's looking like a very imposing character in there. It's quite a significant strike, uh, size difference, but... I don't think Fox cares about that tonight. Nope. I, were talking, I were talking to Shea Walsh guys earlier, and they're well up for tonight. I think we've got a couple of, couple of uh, debut fighters on, and uh, one who's had a couple of fights. Yeah, we've got a mark under the uh, right eye of that was Neve that already up. from that left hook. Yeah. yeah, it was a counter left hook. It was beautiful, but there we go. That's... Neve showing his uh, physical dominance there and just picking him up and turning his yeah, man over. straight into that seatbelt position now. Good roll again. Oh, and he and takes he's the caught bang. the back. Has wow. he got it in? We can't see from our vantage point no. here, but... David Fox right in his corner as well. Got Shea Walsh in his corner, very experienced fighter on the UK scene. Still one of my favourite fights yeah. ever with Shea Walsh when he got his jaw broken and hit it from referee. <laughs> oh my God, what a warrior. So if Fox takes after his coach, he's going to be a tough guy. Oh, taking all these some shots. He's gone under the arm though, and he does right to turn in, but he's got to watch out for that head and arm now. Fox is on his back just with his arm trapped, and you can see that Neve's looking to say up, but Fox gets the roll, and now he's on top. Yeah, brilliant work from both guys. It's been a very fast-paced first round. We're about the halfway mark of this round now, so... You won't think they were twice the size of meat. Speed there, well, moving. No, exactly, yeah. See if uh, Fox can impose some damage from the top now. Some good uh, wrist control from, from Dan Neve from the bottom. I see he's just looking to pin that bicep. He's a little high. Look to pin that bicep and he just needs to floppy arm escape. I know it's not the technical term, but he needs to let that arm go limp and just yank it out. But Pulling that head down, Neve's looking to uh, work up the body of, yeah. of, of Fox. He's climbing that guard now, he just needs to make a decision. Having a close guard in a fight like this is not going to do you any favours. Yeah, so you, you need to go high. Working. You need to go high or you need to you need to look for, start looking for something. Uh, feet on hips, butterfly, anything like that. Fox uh, keeps flurrying with little strikes. Two to the body, one to the head. Simple stuff, but it's effective. It's keeping, uh, keeping Dan Neve on his back. Point scorers as well. Yeah, exactly. Cool. With all them reversals as well, the, the, the judges have got a hard one to score so far. He's just got to he's just got to watch out a little bit. He keeps on putting his hands on the floor, does Fox, and uh, Neve's looking like he's a little bit clued up on his back. I don't know too much about these guys, but Fox is getting a bit wild with his shots when he is dropping a shot down. Here we go for the last 10 seconds, both guys oh. trade shots. Some power off his back there by knee. If there's one thing I can take from this first round, both these guys are tough, and the, uh, they're definitely going to be looking for the finish and throughout just, these three rounds. They just want to feel the other man's face on their knuckles. <laughs> because Referee Stad Simon Stadnika gets us underway for round number two. Inside leg kick from Dan Neve, and again. That's it. And Neve's opting for the grappling, so maybe you've seen something on the ground. Maybe that's success on the back. Yeah. Giving him a bit of confidence there. Both Fox. had good reversals. Well, when they got to the ground, a big knee from Dan Neve. Beautiful body shot there by Fox. Another big knee by Neve. Just tied up now in a clinch. Neve, a man looking to release just yet. Opting to uh, trade knees instead. I say trade is the right word there. It's a you go, I go situation. Dan Neve choosing to sit down there instead of defend the takedown. David Fox ends up on top. He's got Shea Walsh shouting for the Von Flu. Opts to choose to uh, wrap the arm around the other way of the neck. I say, just like pass him into a little bit of a cradle here. If he can use this right, he can escape his legs, pass the side control, and then go to work. But that close to cage, sometimes I like to give half guard up just yeah. so I'm set on the hip, you know. Very Randy Couture esque. Yeah, it just stops that man from climbing up the cage. If you're set on his hip, David Fox on top once again this round, in the half guard position. And Neve just looking to hit that butterfly there. I think the outside butterfly though, he's, he's just going to push him into the cage. As you can see, that cage is going to be his enemy in that situation. And that there is what we were talking about earlier, fight IQ. You've got to know where you are at all times. Yeah. yeah. You, don't want to, yeah you don't want to sweep him into the centre of the cage there. He had the sweep. 
the cage just helped Fox out there and kept him on top. Probably about halfway round, uh, halfway through this second round, David Fox spent plenty of time on top in that first round, and he's spent the majority of this round so far. Yeah, and even though Neve had the success in the first first round on the ground, yeah. Fox started with a bang and he ended on top. You know, it's, there could be arguments for it going in Fox's favour right now. You know, he spent more time on top, and these are point scorers. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, and he's got uh, he's, he's got Neve just backed up against the cage now. Neve not really being able to work for much because of the cage. He needs to isolate an arm right now because right now he's holding onto the back of Fox's head because Fox clearly carries some power. Yeah. And he's looking to try and try and climb for a triangle from time to time, but he's not got any arms locked up. Limits his possibilities off the back. It does, yeah, because when that triangle on top of that head. Yeah, when that triangle comes up, you just want to shoot those arms straight back yeah. through. If you haven't got an arm singled out. Here we go, he's climbing again, but he's, he's, only got he's managed to get to it over, yet. but I'm not sure that he's going to be able to secure this, you know, unless there's absolutely the nothing else seconds. going up. Yeah. yeah. So we've got uh, round number three underway. Oh, a big Beautiful leg kick, kick there kick. from Neve. Wow. He, he turned Fox around with that yeah. one. And again. Now this Watch is one thing about Fox, he carries a lot of power in both hands, but it means it's planted heavy on his legs. Yeah, 100%. We'll go see if uh, Neve goes up to the head now. He's landed a couple to the leg. Obviously, he's got David Fox thinking about that, so that opens him up for the head kick. If you notice, Fox has just kind of brought down his work rate a little bit because a couple of, he steps heavy on that left leg on the jab. Oh, oh and Neve gets left caught. Hook. Wow. Oh, Fox is David putting Fox. it on him. David Fox drops him. Got that front headlock position now. He needs to push inside. away and stand up, I think. Yeah, he's got right, that. He's rolling really now, stand up. Big ground and pound coming from David Fox. I agree with you, Danny. If I'm David Fox, I'm standing up. And Neve is eating it right now. It sounds like a baseball bat in a tree. Yeah, he's doing very well to move. Obviously, referee Simon Stadnik taking a close look at this. You don't want to give him too much time to recover. And you can Beautiful tell knee to the body there by you Fox. Can, you can tell that he's got Shea Walsh in his corner, screaming <laughs> yeah, for them knees can. to the body. God. So now we've got David Fox on uh, on top once again in the guard of Dan Neve. Hectic beginning to this third round. And again, fight IQ shines through. If you're Fox, you want to get back up to the feet yeah, because 100%. Right now, these long, limb, lo long limbs of Neve are going to tie you up and they're going to buy him some time. Yeah, and it'll obviously being Neve on the bottom, he's just going to have to keep working for submissions now because if he needs to win the fight, he's going to have to finish it. And this is why it's the best seat in the house, corner because yeah. we've got him right in front of us now. <laughs> I want to see him get a bit of bicep control, get on inside of those shoulders and just pin his arms down. But Neve, all he's doing right now is just holding on to the back of Fox's head. Another big shot from uh, David Fox. David Fox doing well to keep it uncomfortable, though. He's got his, uh, the top of his head under the chin of Neve, which, if anybody's a fighter, they know that's the most uncomfortable yes. position you can be. It straightens you out, and once you're straightened out, he drops them shots over at top nicely. And it's frustrating more than anything. It, is. it makes it you is. make mistakes. I'm glad that in today's day and age there's still scrappy fighters like Fox, <laughs> but he's got the Kimura, he's look he could be looking for the He's trying to escape, he's got 20 seconds left. And he goes for it, can he step out? He needs to escape that leg and turn onto his left hip. Oh, 10 Neve seconds lets left go and fight. opts for a shot, but Fox is back and Fox gets the takedown. This is surely secured it. Neve to a Guillotine! Oh, wow. What a scramble! <laughs> we had a Kimura to a takedown, to a guillotine, all in the last 20 seconds. Wow. Yeah. Your winner in the red corner, Dave.